So for my last section here on my, you know, face studies is going to be an ear. So I wanted to just kind of pull one up from looking at my phone since I know not everybody always has nice little cutout photos. So this is a way to um, do this project without cutting around it. You pull up a picture um, on your iPad or a phone like this. So then the shape that you draw is the shape that's around here now. It's not gonna be as accurate as the last, um, if, as if we trace the outside, but it gives us just a general little grid. So I'm gonna draw um, a rectangle here since that's about, that's kind of the shape of my screen. So let's get a nice long rectangle developed. Okay. So now I'm going to do what I usually do, which is set up my guidelines. I'm just going to work with my guidelines um, from the big outer ear shape. So I get a general idea of how big this ear is going to be before I get started. All right, so that's my size. So the first thing that we're going to draw with our ears, just like everything else with um, our faces, is that we are not doing as many harsh outlines, more so using values to create it. So the first part to draw when you're drawing an ear is this outer, this helix. This is what they call this outer part of our ear. And the helix is like a C shape, okay? So I'm looking at this helix and how that C shape kind of changes here. Um, so when it comes to the lobe, it doesn't go all the way and it curves around. I like to look at the width here. Does it stay the same? Does it get a little bigger? So it gets a little bit thicker over here, so I know to have come in a little bit more. It's a little closer to the edge over on this side. And then it kind of curves down about the middle of the ear, I'd say. So about our middle shape, okay? So that's our helix. That's gonna give us this outside shadow here. But at first, before I start bringing in the shadows, I'm just gonna bring in the sketchy shapes first. So our next thing that we're gonna draw and bring into this is called the anti-helix. So this is underneath the helix here, and it's this Y shape. Okay, think about a Y, a C, and a Y. So the Y kinda comes through here. This is where our highlight's gonna be. Um, so I'm bringing in, you know, where the shadow is. See, I'm just marking where the shadow will be here, where the anti-helix and the helix meet. So I think understanding the anatomy a bit and naming different, different parts is really gonna help you understand how to draw it as well, because then you're like, oh, I'm drawing the anti-helix here. Um, but we could see that the Y kind of bumps up underneath here and then comes around and the width of this anti-helix is about the same as the helix over here. So that helps me figure out how far over I should draw it. And now what we're gonna look at is this tragus. Um, so the tragus is going to usually have a highlight to it because it's the outer part of our ear. Just the same as like our helix will have more of a highlight to it. So, and our, and our lobe will be much lighter because the deeper we go into the ear, the more shadows we're going to create. So I am going to, when we're bringing in our tragus, I'm looking at how it connects here to my anti-helix. I'm gonna erase some of these sketchy marks here. So I'm looking at how it connects here to the helix and the anti-helix. So I can see there's a little bit of this shadow that's created. This is a shadow here. You can see this part kind of goes inward. All right, so this is gonna be a highlight as this comes through here. Trigus has this little bump here. Okay, so this gives us 
a general idea of our ear. Now, basically, we've got the lobe here as our last part. The lobe, we don't have to really add too much. Um, I'm just gonna kind of like show where this shadow is gonna come in there. And this lobe, it's just gonna be, you know, we're gonna create it a little bit more rounded when we, we're gonna show that it's more rounded when we um, start to do the shadows. So now I'm gonna go in and start to shade. So where do I see the highlights? Where do I see the darkest parts? I'm gonna have it go really, really dark from inside here and then go to light. I'm gonna have it be really, really dark where the anti-helix and the helix meet right here. It's gonna be the darkest spots right here. I'm gonna have that fade up. Remember, down and up, down and up. What's coming up will have a highlight. What's going down is gonna have a shadow. So then this is going to have a shadow right here and here and here and here. So those are the shadows that I'm going to bring in um, on my ear.